So we have the Vilchox 35mm f1.8 for the Nikon Z mount. So excited to do a review on this lens. This is actually my first Vilchox lens and I was choosing between the Nikon native lens versus a third party. And after watching so many awesome reviews about the Viltrox brand, uh, the biggest selling point about this lens is that it's half the price of the 35 1.8S. I was so blown away by the image quality um, and the autofocus, and I'll include some samples throughout this video so you guys can see. It also has a manual aperture ring that you can set to auto, which I'll talk about in a bit. But uh, overall, the lens cap and lens hood are uh, very well built, uh, pretty much the same as the Nikon Z series. Comparing it with my Nikon Z50 1.8S, it actually has a very similar build quality. I'll be honest, if I was blindfolded, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the two. Like the other Vitrox lenses, it doesn't have a manual autofocus button and it also isn't weather sealed, so keep that in mind. Like the other Viltrox lenses, it has a USB-C port in the back so that you can do for more updates. One of the negatives about this lens is that you can't store the lens hood in reverse, and that's not a deal breaker for me, but from someone who does it out of habit for all my other lenses, it can be kind of frustrating for some people. So keep that in mind if you want to store your lens, you're going to have to keep the lens hood on or take it off completely. So while I struggle to put this lens hood on, I actually want to talk about the HD nano multi-layer coating that it has to reduce flare and ghosting for greater contrast in bright and backlit conditions. The image quality for this lens is pretty amazing given the price point. I will have to compare this lens with my Sigma 1.4 Art adapted to the Z-mount and also my native 50 1.8. So I wanted to do an autofocus test in video and it's actually really smooth transitioning from a close foreground object to the background. With this test the camera is handheld and I'm just using Touch AF. I will say that uh, after doing a couple photo shoots with this lens, the IAF isn't as accurate, so I end up just using pinpoint uh, AF. I don't usually use IAF because I'd rather set the focus myself. It did miss a couple shots uh, using IAF, so keep that in mind. The lens also doesn't have image stabilization, which isn't an issue if your camera already has IBIS. The manual focus ring is also very smooth, and when you're moving the manual focus ring, it'll automatically go into focus peaking if you already have that set up. Of course, this video review wouldn't be complete if I didn't talk about the bokeh balls. Um, it has 10 elements in 8 groups, and the bokeh balls are actually very round, which is very pleasing for both photo and video. I am excited to use this lens a lot more. This lens is definitely for those who are a little bit more budget conscious. Overall, I think this lens is a great value for those who are looking for a 35-1.8 um, for the Z-mount, since Tamron Sigma haven't come out with theirs and hopefully this lens still works long term as there are known quality control issues with some Viltrox lenses. That's it for now and I hope to catch you guys at the next video. Thanks so much for watching.